Hey, what's up, everybody? So, can you believe that the 2022 is actually about to be here? So, obviously, as I'm pre recording this video the day before, so that way I can upload it on 1231, I just want to do, go ahead and do a quick summary of just all of the different things that I've done uh, in 2021, of all the things that I've done, plus all of the things that I've experienced. Because when you think about it, like whenever people ask you, like, hey, like, can you believe that this year is already over? And then their next response is, yeah. I feel like I didn't really do much of anything, right? I mean, that's what most people's responses are. It's like, I didn't feel like I did much. I mean, considering the fact that COVID is still a real pain in the ass and it's just, it's li really limiting us from really living, really enjoying just all the things that, you know, life has to offer for us. But as I was taking a look at some of my previous videos that I've done over the year, it's, it's, it's really cool to see just the amount of things that we have done, at least personally for me, that I've done over this last year, even though I feel like I haven't really done much of anything. And so just to, just to kind of give it a little bit of a, a throwback of all the things that I've done, uh, I've been to places like Portland. I went to Portland twice this year. And for some reason, Portland, my Portland videos are like the most ranked videos as far as like my videos are concerned. Like they're the highest amount of views and the most amount of comments and all that good stuff. So, you know, it was a good start. That was, that was kind of like my viral video of anything. And let me just say, if you have never been to Portland before and I get this question a lot, like, Brian, is it safe to really explore Portland? Like, am I gonna get mugged? Am I gonna get robbed? The quick answer is no, you're more likely not gonna get shot, get killed, or anything bad happening in Portland. I mean, just like any other city that you go to, any other place, you have to be careful, right? You're not gonna be going to, let's say, downtown LA or downtown, like, Compton area at, like, two o'clock in the morning, because you're most likely gonna be asking for trouble. So, it's, for again, same thing with places like Portland. For the most part, the city is pretty safe in and of itself. There are obviously a few places that you probably don't want to be going to, uh, like at one o'clock at night, 12 o'clock at night, or anything like that. But for the most part, Portland is a great place to go and eat, great places to go hiking, and we did a lot of different things over there. And I, I remember one thing is like the donuts, right? There's Blue Star Donuts, there's Pips Donuts, and honestly, Voodoo Donuts, I wouldn't even count that. It wasn't that good in my opinion. But like a lot of other things, like going to uh, Crater Lake, for example, when I did that in June, uh, great place to just go if you've never been to a national park before and if you're kind of living on the West Coast, Pacific Northwest, Crater Lake is one of those places where you could probably just go for like a nice, like long weekend trip. No real reason to really stay there for a whole weekend, but it's a great, it's a great place to just go ahead and take a look at how beautiful that blue, like crystalline sapphire bluish water looks like. and. A really cool thing to I'll show you I'll show you here that my my girlfriend she was flying from San Francisco all the way to Portland and during her route she ended up taking a nice beautiful shot of actual Crater Lake with all of this different snow like all of the just the snow accumulation we've been having in the Pacific Northwest over the last week and it's really really cool so if you've never been to Crater Lake before I highly recommend everyone going out to check it out because you know really nice place and check it off on the where should I go next for uh, National Park. Crater Lake, right? A uh, couple things I do want to mention also is that, again, it's a COVID year and I fortunately, unfortunately, ended up getting COVID. Uh, this was back in like May, somewhere around May, even though that I've been vaccinated with the Pfizer vaccine, I got my two doses back in January. I was still one of those like breakthrough cases where I still ended up getting COVID. And the one sad thing about this is that, you know, December 31st, 2021, we're still dealing with this crap. Like with this whole Omicron variant and all of that. So it's just like, ah, uh, when is it gonna end? When is it gonna end? Um, but what else? What else do we do this year? And one thing I did forget to mention is that during July, I went to Alaska with my family and did bring a friend of mine uh, to our 10 day Alaska trip. And it was a really, really fantastic event. It's one of those places where like, I've always wanted to go and visit, particularly if, like Alaska. Like, what do you think Alaska? What do you think about? other than the, that one Netflix series like Alone or something, like Surviving Alone, I don't know. But one of the main states about Alaska is visiting Denali National Park, which is a beautiful, beautiful and gorgeous place to go. Highly recommend everyone going to visit. I mean, one thing I do want to mention is that I have not finished my 10 day video yet. And particularly one of the reasons why I did not finish that video is because I figured if you for example, if you plan on going to Alaska, right? The first thing you gonna search for is like the best thing to do in Alaska. If I were to finish my video all the way in September, it's kind of like, well, like you can't really do it, right? Because when you want to search for something, you want to make sure that you can watch it for, let's say, if you're planning as, you know, 2022, you're planning it for the summer trip. I want to make sure that it's uploaded so that you, that way you guys can see 
what it is that you guys can do and basically what to prepare and plan for like ahead of time because Alaska is a really really great place to go by and visit if you guys are looking for just an area where you want to just go and be outdoors and just be with nature and of course enjoy lots of lots of fantastic seafood. What else did I do this year? Oh yeah, I went to Los Angeles, for example, to visit my my, my parents who are who live in LA. And I, where I grew up in LA, I mean, LA is such a massive town. There's, I'm honestly, I'm not gonna say there's a lot of things to do because there, it, as much as the city is a very very big place, places like Disneyland, for example, Universal Studios, Six Flags, Magic Mountain, Knott's Berry Farm. You go to the Hollywood Bowl sign. You go to the Griffith Park Observatory. I mean, you can do that. You can do the Hollywood Star Walk of Fame, for example. You got Santa Monica Beach. I mean, all of those good stuff. Like, that's what LA is kind of known for. But particularly for me, it's family. But also, I got a chance to eat at one of the like more popular sushi restaurants, which is called uh, Nobu Sushi. Very high end, very extravagant, like omakase. So if you're looking for a nice place to get some really, really good omakase uh, Japanese food, definitely make a reservation to, reservation to Nobu Sushi because. Again, if you're gonna visit what LA just once and you're like, ah, I'm never gonna go back again, definitely, definitely spend the money. Uh, very, very well worth it. Uh, what else? What else do we do? I'm just gonna go through my video and see. Um, as far as hikes are concerned, you know, one of my biggest things for me is like, I love to go hiking. I love to explore like all of the different, all of the different trailheads. One of my favorite hikes I really honestly would recommend everyone go to. If I had to give like my top three, top five that I've done for this year, the first one would be Mount McCausland. Primarily because of the foliage, right? This is one of those beautiful hikes where the colors of the leaves do change from like, you know, the green, the orange, the yellow to like the red. And highly recommend going when the colors start to change. So what does that mean? It's going sometime at around October. Perfect time to really, really get a beautiful view of just all of these beautiful color, leaf, color changing leaves. Um, second hike that I would highly recommend everyone getting a chance to do is going to the Heliotrope Bridgehead Trail. The hike itself is actually not too hard, but it's unfortunately kind of a far drive. So if you're coming from Seattle, for example, it takes about two to two and a half hours to get to the actual trailhead itself. Uh, obviously, this is probably closed during the winter time and maybe throughout most of the spring, but it's usually open in the, in the summertime. A uh, great place to really, really look at a glacier, like from right up close and personally, you can get up close to look at the glacier. And it's really, really fascinating. Uh, some uh, some other notable mention so some other notable hikes that I would highly recommend going uh, Mount Washington Trailhead. I did this actually on Christmas Eve as well as I think last year. I mean this doesn't count, but I also did it last year, uh, December 26, 2020, 2020, and it's a beautiful hike primarily because you know if you like to really explore the winter hikes and really like to go snowshoeing. This is a really, really great place to come out and just check out the beautiful landscape, the beautiful scenery, and just really, really enjoy Mother Nature and all of its glory. And because once you make it to the top, you're gonna get a very, very beautiful vantage point of just like Mount Rainier on one side and like the Cascade Mountains on the other side. And it's, just, it's a really, really fantastic hike to go out and check out. So highly recommend everyone going to do at least one of those hikes that I've mentioned. Um, Mount Mikos, I mean, I guess you could say the easiest hike to do among those three I've listed so far is Heliotrope. Not too hard. I think it was a two and a half, three mile round trip hike. So not too challenging. It's just, it's just far. Uh, Mount Washington is rated as moderate to like very difficult. So that one's more of like, if you're really into hiking, you'd probably want to go and do that. Otherwise I'd go ahead and skip that. Uh, what else did we do? I mean, as far as like, I mean, there's other hikes that I've done here, but for the most part, that was my 2021 in a nutshell. You know, I, I'm i looking forward to basically 2022. Um, as you guys may or may not be aware, depending on which videos you guys have seen so far, me and my girlfriend have plans to go, actually, let me bring that up. Uh, I have a girlfriend now. It's something where, you know, I've, it's, it's nice to be able to have a traveling partner, traveling buddy where you can do stuff with, you know, like I like really, really do stuff with and someone you kind of want to, you know, see yourself spending more years down the line, right? Without being too cheeky, spending someone that you could see yourself just being with you for years on end and being able to explore and enjoy life in and of itself. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So we got our uh, Coeur d'Alene uh, trip coming up for the New Year's holiday. Uh, basically, she's not going to see this. Actually, she might. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So we have plans to basically do like a, a fireworks show there. I, I bought one of the, the North 
uh, North Pole cruise. Basically, it takes you along one of the lakes in Coeur d'Alene, which you can just see fireworks from one of the hotels or something. Really, really cool. Uh, a couple of other things that we're gonna be doing is just exploring some little hikes here and there, doing like an alpaca, um, like petting thing. Like, you know, just, it's, just, it's, it's hard because a lot of things are actually closed during the New Year's day. So options are limited. But other than that, we're just kind of going for a weekend to just celebrate the New Year's uh, holiday together. So I'm really looking forward to that and a lot of other things for 2022. So anyways, guys, you know, one final note I want to bring up is that, you know, every year it's like, you know, especially when you get older, like the years go by a lot faster. It just feels like, you know, when you were a kid, right? If you guys remember back in your childhood days, you just couldn't wait for the weekend. You couldn't just wait for like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all of those like breaks that you get, summer break, winter break. Uh, what else I missed? April break, spring break, right? But as you get older, you start to realize like, oh my God, the time goes by so much faster. Just like, oh my God, I seriously, we are ending 2021 already. I felt like we just started 2021. Here we are already at the end of 2021. And I just can't believe we're gonna be starting 2022 soon. And I feel like the same thing is gonna happen. It's just gonna blow through really quickly. And all of a sudden, here I am making another video saying this is what I did for 2022. It's just like, and it gets you to really remind yourself like, you know what, life really is short. Like, right, life really is short. I'm not getting any younger. I'm starting to get real body aches. So I'm like hiking, playing basketball. So I'm just realizing like my body is not able to keep up as well as I used to, like, you know, five years ago. So it's really, really important. And I want to say really, really important for those of you, you know, who enjoy watching my channel is that you want to take those moments in life and just do, do it, right? Like, don't, don't wait for like five years down the, line, down the line, don't wait for like tomorrow, right? Cause you know the story, tomorrow never come because tomorrow happens, you're just gonna say, you know what, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. So whatever it is you guys have, as far as like goals, aspirations, and just things that you've always want to go, you've always wanted to go ahead and see, just do it, right? If you guys remember that meme from uh, Shia LaBeouf, right? Just do it, right? Just do it. Do it, just do it. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. So a little bit of a throwback there, but you know, seriously, because life is about moving forward. Life is about progression, right? If you feel like you didn't, honestly, if you, I'm not trying to make people feel bad by saying this is what I did this year, but if you know, I want you to take a hard, good hard look at your, at what you did this year and feel like if you haven't accomplished what you want to do for whatever reason, really ask yourself, what is it that's stopping you from doing it? I know a lot of times it's, it's fear. I'm afraid of doing this because of X, right? X equals Y or whatever, algebra, math. But just, you know, really reflect on all of those things and just say, hey, this is what I've always wanted to do. I need to, I need to basically go ahead and do it because, you know, I'm not getting any younger. Life is just continuing to pass, you know, beyond our eyes and pretty soon we're gonna be at 2030 and I'll be in my 40s. Yeah, you know, I'll be in my 40s, wow. So hopefully with the kid, you know, it'll be fun. Anyways, all right guys, I hope everyone has a fantastic, safe holiday uh, New Year's. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to 2022 because so it's all you can do, right? Life is just about moving forward and just enjoying what comes to you. So I really, again, appreciate everyone, all of my current subscribers, as well as my, you know, future new subscribers who have watched my, I made mean, my YouTube channel so far. You just continue to keep, to keep supporting me, honestly, because it's the views, it's the people that leave comments in my comment section that really keep me going and it keeps me motivated to, to keep doing this, you know? It, it's Honestly, I enjoy it too, it's, it's fun for me. So anyways, guys, happy new year, be safe, and I'll see you guys in 2022. Yay.